Hey everyone, in today's video, we're gonna be using six different AI tools to generate a website designed for a surfboard company. The tools we'll be using include Reloom, which will be responsible for the information architecture and also the wireframes, AI Colors, which will give us a really cool color palette to work with for our wireframe, Midjourney, which will be responsible for generating the images and also our logo for the company, Vectorizer AI, which will allow the image that we produce for the logo to be created as a vector image, chat GBT for the writing and also for the company name. And finally, Photoshop AI, which would be responsible for editing the images we created off of Midjourney. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Before I get in the video, I do have a link in the description, which takes you to my website. And from there, you can actually get access to the Figma file I'll be using in this video. Um, so if you want to get access to the final AI generated design, you're more than welcome to. And I'll also provide another link which will allow you to get access to the mid-journey images. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump right into it. So the first product we're using here is Reloom. This is what the AI site builder um, looks like. And basically the way it works is all you need to do is come over to this box over here. And all you do is you just type in your prompt and then ask how many pages you wanna have on that website. So since I'm just doing the landing page, I'm gonna stick with one to five pages. And for the prompt, since I'm doing a surfboard company, I'm going to put that in right now. Once you have your prompt, just hit generate. And what will happen now is it will start to create the information architecture for the actual design. Awesome. So this is what it came up with. So we have a whole bunch of sections, a footer at the end, and also a nav bar at the top. Obviously, this is just a starting point, but it's a really good starting point for us to get a head start into the design. A really neat feature about Reloom is it doesn't just do sitemaps, but it also does wireframe. So if you click over to wireframe, so this is what the wireframe looks like. It's looking really, really good and a fantastic starting point for us in our design. Um, if you don't like a particular component, for example, like this header here, what you can actually do is you can actually click on it. And once you click on it, there's an option here for you to actually replace the component. And the cool thing about Reloom is they have a whole library with a whole bunch of different components you can select from. Um, so for this instance, I'm going to stick with something like this. So it's a lot more simple. So yeah, that's starting to look good. And what I'll do now is I'll go through the entire design and start to replace the components. And once I'm happy with it, I'll come back. Awesome. So this is the final wireframe and it's starting to look quite good. What I'll do now is I'll import this over to Figma so I can start to manipulate it. Um, and just to further refine how it looks. This can only be done with the paid version. Alternatively, if you don't wanna pay for it, they also offer a free um, kit that you can use and get access to all the components yourself. The only downside is you'll have to manually um, import each individual component over to your canvas. Um, so yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna start importing into Figma right now. Awesome, so I've just imported this over to Figma. Um, so we have the entire wireframe and we can uh, manipulate it however we want. Um, so the next step for the video is to use AI colors. And with this, we'll start to manipulate the colors within our wireframe. So this is AI colors. Basically what it does is it allows us to have a huge selection of various color palettes to choose from without having to do it manually. And a really neat feature about it is you can actually use AI to help generate some of the color palettes for you. Alternatively, you can come over to here to some of the most popular selections. Um, so I'm going to do that right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this one here because it looks exactly how I want it to look. And what I'll do now is I will take all the colors over here, import it back to Figma, and then we can start tweaking our wireframe. Awesome. So what I've done is I've brought in the color palette from AI colors over to Figma. And what I'll do now is I'll start to change the colors and decorate the wireframe to this particular color palette. Once I do it, I'll come back and show you how it looks. Awesome, so I've just updated the color palette and this is what it's starting to look like. It's looking very neat and tidy. And yeah, that's starting to look quite nice. 
The next step for this video is we want to generate a logo for the company and we're going to be using mid journey for that. So let's do that right now. So here we are, we're on mid journey. I generated a whole bunch of different logos, as you can see, um, using various props until I got the right one. Out of all of them, this is one that I liked. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab this image and convert it over to Vectorizer AI where we can convert it into a vector image. So here we are, we have Vectorizer AI and with that mid journey logo that we just uh, created, we can drop the image in and begin to vectorize it. So I've just imported our image. It's uploading as you can see um, and it's processing the vectorize effect. Um, and here is the final outcome. If we actually zoom in here, you can see there's a huge difference. Um, this one's much more pixelated. This one's completely vectorized. Um, so yeah, what we can do now is we can grab our logo here, bring it back over to Figma and we can start to manipulate it. Awesome. So I've just imported the logo as you can see. And what we can do now is we can start to clean it up. Once we've cleaned it up and we're happy with how it looks, the next step is we want to have a company name. So we'll be using ChatGPT to come up with the company name. So I'm gonna do that right now. So here are a list of various uh, names that we came up with. The one that I like is this one here, C Skull. So what I'm gonna do is come back over to Figma and add that text into the logo. And there we go, we have our final logo and it's starting to look really good. What we can do now is we can bring this over to our nav bar over here. So let's do that right now. Perfect, so I've just added in our logo here and that's starting to look quite nice. I've also added it to the bottom here in the footer section. And yeah, that's starting to look very cool. The next step in the video is we want to start to add in some of our mid journey images here, um, just so we have some stock images within the website. So I'm gonna do that right now. So here we are, we're back in mid journey. I've generated a whole bunch of different stock images we can use. Um, so what I'm gonna do is the ones that I ended up really liking, I'm going to bring these into Photoshop AI, start to replace some of the logos with the one we just created. And once we do that, we can import it back into Figma. So I've got Photoshop open here with our very first mid journey image that we generated. Uh, what I wanna do is I want to extend the canvas so we have a full width image rather than just being a square. What I've done here is I've extended the canvas out and what you can actually do is with the new update, you can come over to here and using the generator fill, you can put in a prompt. I've just said to fill in the frame and let's see what it comes up with. This is what it's come up with. Um, and a really neat feature about Photoshop AI is you can actually change um, the type of design that you're after. I'm quite happy with this one, to be honest. And when you're happy with it, you can merge them together to form one image. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing for the other side. There we go, we just generated the other portion of the frame and that's starting to look really good. Let's merge it together so it's one image. The final step is we want to import the logo that we created using Mid Journey. I'll jump back into Figma, come over to our logo that we created so I've got my logo here and I'm just gonna export it as a PNG just so I can use it within Photoshop. So I've just exported it and I'm gonna import it right now. So here's the logo and what I wanna do with this logo is place it on the surfboard so it looks like it's connected to the company. So what you can actually do is create a um, smart object and then from here you can scale it however you like. I'm just gonna scale it down a bit, put it roughly in the center here. That looks quite nice. Um, to make it look even more realistic, what you can do is you can actually come back over to your logo and change the lighting here to hard light. And it blends in with the surfboard a bit better. And there we have it. That's our very first mid journey image. So what I'm gonna do now is copy this exact process with the rest of the images that I generated. 
And once they're all finished, I will import them to Figma. And from there, we can start to add them into our wireframe. So here are the final mid journey images that I edited with the help of Photoshop AI. Um, these are looking really, really good. And what I'll do now is I will begin to import them into our wireframe. Awesome, so I've just converted and put in all the images over to Figma and this is what it's starting to look like. It's looking really, really good. The final step is to start to refine this design and I'm going to start jumping in, starting to manipulate some of the buttons, some of the image sizes like here, for example. And once I do that, I will get back to it. So this is the final outcome of the video. So we have generated um, our design using a whole range of different tools with the help of AI. Um, and yeah, let's just to make sure it's working, I've got a preview page loaded up here. And if we scroll down, this is what it's starting to look like. Um, it looks really, really good, super easy on the eyes, all thanks to all of those AI tools that we used. And yeah, that's basically the end of the video. Um, if you guys did learn something, let me know. Um, I'd be more than happy to help you out to those who are struggling. Um, if there's any topics you'd like me to explore in future videos, please let me know. I'd be more than happy um, to do so. So yeah, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And without further ado, I will catch you all in the next one. See you later.